Hi there, welcome to Key 103. I'm Dina and Danny's behind the camera. We are having fun together. It is Tuesday. We are in week 14. <laughs> As we're staying at home together, safer at home, doing life together and having a whole lot of fun. Out of town guests are maybe wondering where can we eat. A lot of restaurants are opening. I'm seeing some visitors coming in from out of town on social media and people are posting, hey, where's a good place for pizza? Hey, where's... That's great. You know, we're trying to help one another out, which brings us to Open for Business, which is a segment that we've just started on Tuesdays, 9.30. You could win a gift card or a service or whatever it is that's being promoted on Open for Business. You could win at 9.30 on Tuesdays. Today is the Frederick Rock School. Yeah. school. Yes, Frederick Rock School, and you can get a one-month lessons I guess yeah. of, from the Frederick Rock School so that's kind of cool 930 today and if there's a business that you want to promote there's a directory that is free for all businesses and you can find that at our website key103radio.com is that right Danny? That is. Okay <laughs> so some things that we're talking about we just talked about how we can make our gardens grow better using natural things that we have in our household like white vinegar for instance it's good at getting rid of the moss in between your pavers so what I'm wondering, and didn't say this, mm -hmm. if you have to have the moss gone and then it's preventative or it if it kills, kills it. Moss. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have to try it and see. We'll have to try uh, and see. Coffee grounds are great if you use those to fertilize your soil. I did not realize that. Although someone I used to work with, when his coffee used to get cold, he didn't like it, and he used to water the plants at our office with coffee. And I got to tell you, those plants always looked great. <laughs> That's so, I guess you can't have a lot of creamer or sugar right. stuff in it. It's well, got to be like black coffee. He drank black coffee. So, wow. Yeah. And he used to always say, oh, this is too cold. And he used to dump it in the plant. And I remember thinking, I wonder if he's going to kill that plant. I, I was there for five years, never <laughs> once did that plant die. <laughs> maybe <that's... laughs> so maybe I should try watering my yeah. plants with coffee instead and be like, you know, super growth. Um, anyway, it's a lot of fun to hang out. 301-620-1031. We would love for you to call in. Cup of Joy this morning was had to do with my daughter who sold the family car. It was my car. Passed it on to her. After having a new transmission, of course, new tires, then it had a new rebuilt engine, something else was wrong. And at one point, you know, you have to kind of come to grips with the fact that some things you just have to let go. At yes. one point in your life, you have to go, time to move on. Well, that was the case, and she was really reluctant. Um, long story short, there was finally some interest after everything's been shut down. Things are starting to reopen. She ended up selling the car to a family that's having a new driver. He's a mechanic, so he was completely aware of all the issues. Not a problem for him because he can fix them. And the sweetest note she got from the new driver, and we posted it at our Key 103 awesome. Radio Facebook page. And it's just, you know, it made her feel so much better knowing that the car is going to yeah. someone who also will appreciate it just as much as she did. I mean, I know it's a car, but Still, I get that too. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's very sweet. And that's what we're trying to do is encourage one another. 301-620-1031. That's also our text line. So anytime you want to, you know, stop in and, and comment, you can do that. Yeah, just save it in your phone. Text us anytime. That's a good idea. There's a free app, by the way, powered by Geico. You can download that from our website. You can search for it. You can use your alarm to wake up with K103. Positive, uplifting, although not everyone thinks I'm positive. <laughs> All right, I need to let it go. We got what, what I would perceive as a very hurtful phone call saying that I'm very negative and never want to listen to me again. And blah, oh, blah, come blah. on, and you guys know. So I, I want, I want like, everybody to thumbs up right wow. now and comment how you know <laughs> that is not true. It just was like bizarre because Danny and I were jokingly saying how when you get over 50, no one can have dessert. And of course, obviously that's a joke. Well, she said that... Um, she that was offended that it was, that because I'm, she was over 50. Because she's over 50, and I can't be telling everybody, you know, not to eat dessert. And I was like, clearly that was a joke, and that's a personal problem, and that's my problem. That's not her problem, and she's over 50. And I thought, wow. And then she hung up on the phone with me after saying, and I'm not listening to you anymore. Click. Like, obviously no no wanting to have reconciliation. No, no or conversation. Any sort of, you know, and that's hurtful if you... Believe me, I am not perfect. I am the first to admit. And if there's something I ever say that is offensive, 
I would love to have the opportunity to make it right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, at least give me the opportunity. And my one of my favorite phrases, I'm stealing it from my husband, is listening with a generous ear, believing the best of someone. And that's, that's right. hopefully something we can all do as this world has yes. gone a little bit um, just it, intense. It's very intense. It's very intense. So if we can be kind, and part of being kind is choosing to hear the best out of someone's mouth as opposed to the worst. Or yeah. when you think that maybe there's something that is not what you're wanting it to be, take that opportunity to then press in and say, hey, are you having a bad day? I mean, we lost one of our friends yesterday in, in that motorcycle accident. She didn't know that. She didn't even care to ask. Yeah. So it's th not that that was the reason for me yeah. saying not to eat dessert. But it's, you know, like, let's truly do life together. Yes. That's what we're trying to do here at Key 103. So Key103radio.com, Dina at Key103radio.com, and 301-620-1031. I will get off of my hopefully pleasant and positive soapbox. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Q103. Bye. Oh, look. See? Oh, my friend Debbie says, wow, keep a smile in your heart. <laughs> she does, Debbie. She absolutely you, does Debbie. always. Mwah. Yes. Love you. Love you guys. <laughs>